Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up Castle Arlcliff, the Mages Guild. And uh, yeah, this time we're going to be getting onto the castle grounds. So we're going to be building a couple of the smaller buildings around it, as well as a really cool path which is going to be heading up into the mountains where we're going to be working on the next episode. So that's the one that's next after this one. Uh, we're going to be setting that up perfectly. Now, if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys aren't already caught up with this series, I'll leave a link in the description and also in the card above to the full playlist. They're all time lapses, so they're pretty quick to get through. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get into building. So the first building we're going to be doing is a herbalist hut. So during peacetime, uh, the Mages Guild makes most of its money from making potions and making lotions and selling them on to various people. So maybe they even take these into the, the main cities and towns to actually sell on from there. And for that, we need somebody that's dedicated to making herbs. So in this case, probably one of the old wizards that can't travel anymore, but he's quite happy with tending the garden and he's quite good with that. So just building a really nice hut for him and also just doing these kind of areas around it, using the default plants that we've got in Minecraft as well to make it look nice and herbally and nice, quite full of different colours and everything like that. After that I wanted to build a really small and simple little uh, signal tower, so the idea being that, you know, for whatever reason this always burns light when the uh, the mages are there. Uh, it just seems to be some, one of these things that's always in different games, so I was like, actually we could probably do with something similar. But uh, in this case, it's, it's made by fire, so we've got a small little storage area there, um, and whenever that's lit they're always kind of open or safe or whatever. Because we've got a tournament on in the main castle grounds, I thought this would be a really good idea. So, you know, how do mages get around? You know, what, what do they actually do, especially the traveling ones, if they are going to be selling their wares, if they're going to be selling magic or, you know, magical goods and potions, um, you know, how do they get around? I thought, actually, these kind of gypsy-like caravans are perfect for it. I can just imagine all these kind of uh, mages traveling around the land uh, in these, you know, just... Um, uh, setting up shop outside of a, a city and then wandering in and trying to sell things or going in to actually buy things or you know that kind of thing just really worked and because we've got this tournament on it just seemed perfect to actually have a little collection of these just outside so I've made a small kind of um, palisade wall so just a couple of bits of wood around it just for protection and they've just got a nice little camp here so you know a couple of the mages have just you know traveled here and parked up and uh, yeah they're here for the tournament to show their wares but it could also be that you know some of the lecturers also have these so now moving into the castle grounds themselves so within the walls it was time to make a groundskeeper so this is of course heavily inspired by Hagrid's hut so it's uh, circular I didn't do the two circles like Hagrid's hut I wanted to use the kind of, kind of similar kind of thing with very circular and again going with this really really steeped roof but make it a little bit different make you know use more wood uh, and just have that stone base and just have it kind of walking up so they would be looking after the main grounds so they may be magical they may not be magical as well you know it doesn't really matter for that kind of role then just moving on to this nice area here uh, because there's not much sun that actually hits this part of the valley um, this was one of the areas that did, especially in shaders, so I decided to build a greenhouse. The idea being that, again, more herbs and things are grown here, and when you're doing lessons, especially on herbology, they would actually be able to come up to this area here and, you know, see what's going on, and have a look at all those different herbs and learn about it from that side. And just on the side, I just built a couple of standing stones, you know, places of power, that kind of magic. So on this rock here, I decided to build a rookery. So similar to maesters in Game of Thrones, I can imagine the mages of this world not only being the main herb masters and making potions, but also sending crows, taking care of crows, and sending messages uh, to the different lords around the kingdoms. So just moving on to this kind of like small part here, we've got a couple of lakes on the actual castle grounds. I wanted to make a small boat, again, another place where they can actually go down, they can go into a boat and they can learn about some of maybe the underwater weeds that can actually be around. And then getting on to my favourite bit, so this is my favourite bit of the entire episode, um, especially with building this, was building up a couple different bridges leading up to a really nice place in the mountain. So I decided to do it at a 45 degree angle, it just kind of fits, you can see the orange wall where I've put in. Um, which is just like my rough guide of where I want the path to go. Um, I definitely recommend doing this if you guys um, do anything similar as well. Uh, so this time with this bridge, this was uh, an angled one and it was also going up at an angle. So, you know, up the difficulty a little bit, but actually because it's quite nice and small and it's using simple arches and the angle isn't too steep, uh, it actually made it quite doable. So we've got that kind of like small 
thing going on there, and I wanted to do it in a slightly dwarven style, and that's because where we're going to be going to in the next episode is going to be dwarven. So then just building this path going up, I wanted this to feel quite Skyrim-esque, and I decided to switch out from the dirt path to stone, so it really, like, merges in with the mountainside so you can hardly see it. Then my absolute favourite part, which was the rope bridge. So this was really, really difficult to do and get the angle right, and I had to kind of redo it a couple times. But um, yeah, just keep at it and keep kind of playing around with the blocks until it looks like it's drooping down properly. But yeah, we've got a nice little rope bridge across there. I think it looks great. And there we go, guys. So we've got the camp where we've got some of the mages that have come to visit for the tournament. We've got the herbalist just outside of the walls in that little nice wooded area. And then on the castle grounds themselves, we've got the groundskeeper. We've got that nice rookery tower where there's going to be a load of crows that are being kept where they can learn about crow keeping and how to send messages. Also got the greenhouse on that side. And then of course my favourite part of it, which I really like the look of, is the three different bridges that we've built uh, during this, which leads up to what will be a small dwarven village which we'll be building in the next episode. But uh, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.